I am Ava. <laughs> Welcome to the Tarot Cave. Welcome. We're in the bowels of the earth. Uh, reading for the month of August for you, dear Capricorn. Yes, you had quite the interesting reading last month. We could hardly wait to get to it. But before we do, we wanted to let you know that we're bringing on an astrologer. We have a, a very cool guy joining our team. Brian Hill, he is a celebrity astrologer for the New York Times style section and also Halifax Media. He will be uh, creating love scopes for our female audience, mm -hmm. focused on your Mars and your Venus and your relationship houses. Oh, we can hardly wait for that. And then he'll be on, on um, camera with us uh, eventually uh, in the future so that we'll do a little segment on astrology with him. That should be a lot of fun. That'll be a lot of fun. So stay tuned for that. You can read his horoscope right now on our website. Yes. And do you want to talk about what we do here at Virtual Tarot? We do a four card spread. Uh, the first card represents the overall environment of the month for which we are forecasting. The second card represents challenges. And the third is your unexpected surprise element. And the fourth represents the outcome of the month. And then we'll give you some spiritual counsel from Spirit and we will send you on your way. Yes. So that said, let's move into last month's recap for Capricorn. Confusing, confusing, confusing. For the month of I July. I looked at it and I thought, my goodness, it seems like the first half of the month is in stark contradiction to the second half. Isn't it strange? It's strange but so the very first card that came up for you, Capricorn, in the position of environment was the Nine of Pentacles. Upright. Which tells us that you really have it pretty well uh, sorted out. <laughs> You've gotten your environment to a place that is very comfortable and also very beautiful. Mm -hmm. And um, there is a certain amount of admiration that goes along with this card. You're seen as someone who's kind of made it. Yeah. And uh, you know how to create quite the beautiful scene. Well, you're being rewarded for all your hard work, and you've been working very, very hard. And this month is the month in which some of that hard work manifests into... Um, Luxurious in, uh, uh, objects, perhaps mm -hmm. beautiful things, mm -hmm. um, a beautiful home environment, or maybe just a vacation or mm -hmm. some sort of reward. Luxury, a reward. A reward for all mm -hmm. your um, diligence and hard work. And then in the position, this is what had us sort of stumped, stymied. Yes, indeed. In the position of challenge, you had the Five of Pentacles, which is the bag lady card, that's what I call right. it. Because if you look at the card, you see that there's this little guy, he's kind of crippled, handicapped, and a woman looking down at the ground, and they're wearing rags, and there's a church right. in the background, and there's snow falling, and everyone looks forlorn and desperate and destitute. So that was in your challenge position. Right. <laughs> that card. So it seems to me that a lot of people who are in positions of... of Plenty mm -hmm. can nonetheless fear they're going to lose everything. Yes, there's a sense of poverty. There's a sense of poverty regardless of what you have achieved on a material level. Mm -hmm. There seems to be a psychology of poverty. Or spiritual poverty even. Or spiritual poverty because uh, Capricorns are very much challenged by, the, uh, by a too extreme materialism. You know, their 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 card is the devil. Mm -hmm. The card the that's most materialistic. It's the mo most materialistic card, due to the fact that you understand the material world so well and you're so comfortable in it. Mm -hmm. You are an earth sign. You are the consummate earth sign. You therefore are comfortable mm -hmm. in the material world, but that means that you might neglect the spiritual side of life, or you might not even see spirit within matter. Mm -hmm. You might be, if not an atheist, at least an agnostic, and consequently you deprive yourself of so much 
richness. Mm -hmm. Or you forget even. Or you forget because... You just forget to tune in. You forget to tune yeah. in. And that's your challenge for the month mm -hmm. of July. So Spirit's here to remind you spirit, to tune in. Tune in to your spirit. Yep. Yeah. And Become so, appreciative. Yeah, and then in the position of the unexpected, we had the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands. It's a people card. And so it could be that you have a younger person. Well, let's say they're late 20s, late 30s, 20s, 30s, who is um, in your life, uh, maybe a showy person, somebody who's... Just a very passionate, yeah, sort of artist. outgoing yeah. person in your midst unexpectedly shows up and adds a little bit of zest maybe yes. to the month. Or it can just mean that there's this energy moving through the month mm -hmm. and giving you, uh, I don't know, it gets like a little bump, a little bump energy or, bump, yeah, right? Or, or some sort of artistic project that mm -hmm. suddenly appears or right. something that you are challenged on a creative level. And then at the end we had the star. So at the very end you had this really cool card. It's about hope and inspiration and, and it, you know, it's... Become it's really like you are the fo foci. Foci, I like that, foci. <laughs> foci of the universe at of this foci. point. And, um, You're the star of the show. Yes. You're the star of your own movie. Yeah. The and movie so, of your life. Yeah, so at the very end it's quite different than at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Although, I don't know, the nine no, and the star. Right. There's just some stuff in between where you're kind of... Right, but, but the, the maybe nine spent is a little too bit much. more private. <laughs> I mean, I see the, yeah. the nine being within her own compound. Within her home, yeah. Right, whereas this, go, you go out yeah. and uh, you display uh, mm -hmm. your talent, your... Um, that which distinguishes you, your uniqueness That's to right. the world. That's a good reading. It is. Yeah, and there is so. a council card. If you haven't checked it out, click below because there is a fifth card that you can check. Yes. Um, to give you higher spiritual counsel on that reading. And, and you so. can see that I've just reversed a few of them for you and I'm shuffling away. When all this happens in the moment. In it's the spontaneous. moment. It is. <laughs> Magical. Magical, and I think that's enough. You ready? Nope, I'm ready. Okay, so we're going to read for you for the month of August. Ava is cutting the cards. First position again will be position number for the month of August. What do we have? We have a wand card. We have a two of wands. Very oh. nice after we had that night. You're trying to decide where you're going to take all of this inspiration that came up last month, mm -hmm. at the end of the month, the star card, and also the knight of wands. So we're going to take all of that. You could take it forward, you could to take it to a very um, interesting new place, or you could stay. So that's kind of where we're at, a little bit of a decision to be made here. Um, minor arcana decision. I love this card because the globe, to me, is like a map, the map of the future, mm -hmm. and you're gazing at a map, deciding what to do, where to go, planning your next move. Or even a vacation. Or a vacation, what would you like to do, where would you like to live, where would you like to recreate. Um, so <clears throat> it's the planning phase. Right. The right, planning phase. Right. That's nice. And then we have another two. <laughs> yes, we do. Okay, so in the position of challenge, we have another two. It is the two of swords, and it is reversed. And it is a fun sort of little stump the psychic situation. So your challenge is going to be this month to All take right. off the blinders and to face a situation that you well it's funny last month we had the five here right mm -hmm. so I'm gonna venture to say yes. actually yes. <laughs> that the challenge is to 
this is going out on a limb, to keep something close to the vest or delay making a decision because it looks like we have two twos. So I'm going to say that a choice needs to be made and you're, you know a choice needs to be made, but um, you might need to delay that choice just to keep sort of everything in balance this month. Mm -hmm. That's sort of I'm gonna, I'm a gonna possibility. I'm going to totally agree with that. And I don't think that there's anything to add to that. I think that's it. I know <laughs> it's hard to believe that I would not have anything to add, but it's true. She actually agrees. I don't know. It could be something else, but it looks like the challenge is to sort of, for once, delay. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe. let's see. Ah, okay, so we have Page of Pentacles reversed. Another reversal. And this is kind of similar to this one, isn't it? It is, it is. In the position of the a unexpected. Delay of a project or a initiation of a project mm -hmm. of some sort. Right. Uh, I'm going to say you don't have all the information or the, the ability yet to you can't decide because you don't have the information. That's precisely it. You can't, you can't move forward with your vision mm -hmm. uh, you, because you can't make the choice. Your, your challenge is to... You don't know what's true and what's not true. Yeah, you don't, you don't have all the facts. And it's either that someone shows up in your midst who is not contributing to the solution, mm -hmm. actually. Or it could be that you're held back by a child or ha a younger person. Their need for you, their, mm -hmm. their impracticality. Yeah. Uh, because this is impracticality. Mm -hmm. It's uh, not laying a proper um, um, fundamental uh, foundations for what you want to do. So right. Right. Not knowing where to plant, perhaps even your seed. Not mm -hmm. knowing where that fertile ground would be. For Within this, it's, this is a particular situation um, within your life. It's not like your overall no, destiny. Not. This, this is just, just something an going issue on, with some situation. sort of issue that you have to deal with. Yeah. And uh, what it's saying is that <clears throat> you're faced with a choice, but. Your challenge is not to is to delay that choice, and until you find some place where that idea that that seed can mm -hmm. be planted. So, for instance, if you're trying to move, you might not have all the information yet mm -hmm. that you need. You don't even know where the problems could be. Right. Until there's more information. Yes, yes. In other words, it's not grounded. Mm -hmm. Things are not grounded yet. And for a uh, Capricorn. Capricorn, that's not good. Mm -mm. So there, It's hard to plan. Oh, there you wow. are. Wow. Okay, so at the end of the month, we have the King of Pentacles in the upright. Oh, this is perfect. So it looks as if you're going to have someone either... Have your, you know, they're going to have your back, mm -hmm. or they're going to fund, or they're going to bankroll, or they're going to give you that mortgage, yeah. or they're going to offer you a contract, or they're going to offer you a job. I mean, the foundation will be laid via this mm -hmm. gentleman. Yes, and or you will become the, a prof, um, efficient, well-organized determined CEO of your particular project or apply, enterprise or applying that energy to the situation right you might be this this could be a child it could be a child and it who's could be a, uh, also you know your husband your child who's trying to decide maybe make a decision right but it's not grounded yet right it's not grounded yet but you're but the the king of pentacles says at the end you Grounds do ground that it becomes grounded situation and you become much more capable of making firm resolute decisions 
mm -hmm. um, that are truly uh, have that what what would be for a Capricorn very important um, uh, fundamentals. It's like guidance this right. month. You offer guidance. Right. To someone who is maybe a bit immature. Yes, you might be a, a guidance counselor, in a sense. Right. On the practical level, and how to do something, how to organize something, yeah. how to achieve something. Yeah. And, and it might be a young person who needs yeah. that kind of, of, of fundamental um, uh, knowledge. Or a person who's a bit immature within the situation, right. and maybe they have an idea that they, and they haven't really looked under the hood to see where the problems might lie. Right. Maybe, maybe interestingly enough, the swords reversed. You know, the swords reversed is a revelation of mm -hmm. truth. Mm -hmm. So if it's your challenge, that maybe you find out something. Yeah. And that becomes your challenge is to do something with that knowledge. So that could very well be too. You are, mm -hmm. you are something <coughs> unmasked, mm -hmm. and that becomes challenging. Like a to high you. priestess sort of situation. Right, right, right. You get to know something mm -hmm. that you didn't know before. Right, right. And uh, so it creates this. Uh, um, uh, you use it, you, the new knowledge. You use it in order to organize and. Uh, uh, establish a well-formed uh, community of ideas or people. Right, but it could also be, um, you know, someone, a younger person who's planning a grandiose type of future. They, and they haven't really, you know, it's not solid. It's not solid. And so it could so be. So you become the guidance you that the, this person the, needs the, to. The papa. The papa. Right. Yeah. Or literally someone who is your husband or uh, the male figure um, does that for you, mm -hmm. for your child. Or mm -hmm. For you even. For, e for even you. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So there's guidance <sighs> there we at go. the end of the month. It just seems to me a. It's very strategic, this reading. It's a very Capricorn reading. It's, it's all about are. planning. It's all about planning. It's all about not messing up. Right. And <laughs> revelation of truth. Yeah. Using your, you know, any uh, investment, it's re-examined because you're not going to go forth and make these grave financial errors. Errors. No, you're not. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're ready You're ready at the end of the month to really put it together, yeah. to build it, because mm -hmm. that's the, the, the card of the builder, to right. really build it, whatever it is you want it to build. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. Solid, solid, solid. If you would oh. like an, the fifth card, lives along with these four cards, go to the council card. The council card. It is higher spiritual council on this four card spread, yeah. which I would kind of want it. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Please go on our website if you would like a private and personal reading. Yes, we offer many different kinds. Choose the one that's appropriate, pay for it, and then send us your questions, and uh, she or I will um, read for you. And so we would love to see you next month, okay? So make sure you subscribe. Don't forget it. <laughs> All we want to say at this point is, Mama stay. Mama stay? <laughs> Mama go. No, Mama stay. Mama.